This is a micro. This is, I'm so proud of him. You know my dog, Eddie, who's my um, alert dog. This is his son, and this is a micro that Eddie threw. And as you can see, Eddie is his dad. So Eddie is a small, okay? He's at the top end of small. This was his son, and this was not by a micro mom or anything like that. It was another small that was a rather large small, so it was at the tip end, meaning um, uh, 20, 21 pounds. Um, but they threw the micro, little Mr. Jingles. People can expect a bounding joy that blows your mind when you get a micro mini Royal French Oil. I mean, it's really true. You can expect to every day to fall in love more, every month, every year. It'll, it'll astound you. You'll finally get to a place where you just don't even have words to express it. It happened to me, it happens to my customers. You can expect not to have to go to the bed all the time. You can expect to have travel ease. You can expect to not spend a lot on dog food. You can expect to uh, not have tremendous vet bills. You can expect friends will love and adore your dog. You can expect that if you don't have a partner now and you take a micro mini out, everybody in the world wants to meet you. So you'll have a much higher chance of connecting with your soulmate. You can expect a lot of great things with, the, with your micro. But the biggest thing is, is ease, just ease. They're easy dogs. We are the only one that has a real true Royal French dog. The, and what I mean by that is Royal French Oil got started here. We came up with the name. As the breed was created, every so often they would throw a micro naturally. And the micros were stunning. They are just like the regular Royal French Oil, but they're micro minis. They're tiny. They require a lot more care for the first three months. I mean, it's so funny to see a micro when they're born and in the first like th three or four months old, they look like these little spindly things. And then as they age, you know, they end up beefy and hearty and you know, they're, it's really fun to see them. Micros just started occurring naturally in different litters. So over about eight years, what I did was just gently steered the breeding cycle toward smaller and smaller. I kept the micro studs and bred them to um, the large smalls. And what occurred was we got a larger number of micros. The truth is people like to travel and they want their dogs with them. The world has changed. It's no longer a dog at home. Dogs are soothing. They're an excellent support for, you know, heart rate, blood pressure. They're used for a lot of things but lot, mostly joy. I mean, the truth is they're so easy to travel with, so easy to train, and so much fun when you get to a hotel or anywhere, they have a ball. So the micro is really easy to get around. And for people with special needs, they're very easy to pick up and to care for. It works for everyone across the board. They're an awesome apartment dog. They can still take walks with you, etc. And this year was the first year I bred a micro to a small and got a micro litter and I was thrilled. They're absolutely gorgeous and the mom was well and every, everybody was well. Why are they so expensive? They're worth it. They're gonna live 20 years. We put a lot of time and attention. I lose a lot of sleep. <laughs> so that's why they're more expensive. Uh, the price will come down a little bit as we're able to maintain uh, a system that works, that's cost effective, but right now that's where it is and they are just so incredible. Just ask anybody who has one. Royal French Oil Minis are the smallest bulldog in the world. It's just a reality. You can't find a bulldog that has the consistency of personality and health like a Royal French Oil regarding the amount of care that they take early on in their lives, not later, but early on, um, is they require yard care. We can't just put a micro mini out in the yard who's totally ready to go out in the yard, but we can't put it out there in the beginning because it's so tiny, a bird can come and take it away. We live in the country and that's very, very common. It does happen. The other is larger dogs could want to play and bump into it and injure it. Um, so you have to have supervision a lot more in the early period of its life than you do later. Later on, they learn all the, you know, how to, how to move and, and navigate things. But in the beginning, they're tiny pups and they require that special care.
You can go to our website, which is royalfrenchill.com, or you can call me. My number's right there, 360-561-0003. And you'll learn there more about Micro Mini Royal Frenchels and the other dogs. Yeah. And one of the things that I think is really cool on the website is the difference between what a baby looks like and an adult when it comes to a micro mini. The reason why that's so important is a micro mini starts out looking like a very delicate dog. It's not, it's, it's really interesting. 26 months later, you have this like, you know, little package that is sturdy and consistent with its personality and has confidence and it wants to go with you everywhere and make your life better. And that's basically what they are. But when people see a, a micro mini at its early stage, they think, oh no, I don't want any little dog. I don't want a little dog like that. You know, I don't want a dog that yaps and jumps and is nervous twit kind of thing. Um, they are so far from that, it's amazing. This is a micro mini. He is approximately 11 months old right now. He's our stud to, to be. He hasn't been bred yet, obviously. He's a little young. But you can see already how he's already filling out, you know. And this is just the first stage. He won't finish till he's 26 months old. His head is about to finish in about two to three months. At 13 months old, the Royal Frenchel's head's complete. And what I mean is they get muscle straps here, their head defines more clearly, their neck and chest defines more clearly, and then what happens after that is they just beef out. And it's so much fun to watch. You end up with this like really, you know, tank of a dog that ends up weighing somewhere between 8 and 13 pounds, you know, or 14 pounds. I mean, it's, it's pretty fun.